So I know I just gave a brief overview of the software. If you want a more detailed look, um, just leave a comment and there's no problem. I can do a more detailed overview. But right now we need to look inside this thing and see what's going on. I So the first thing you notice is it's a nice FR4 PCB. Um, it's clean. It's conformal coated. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, this whole area is conformal coated, so that's all very good. We've got some nice Panasonic relays. We've got 12 Panasonic relays. Um, the processor is a is an STM thirty two F one hundred three, which is a ARM and Cortex M three processor. Um, I think they run up to seventy two megahertz, so it's perfectly fine for the job. In fact, it's quite modern, so that's nice to see. Uh, the capacitors here are I'm not sure what they're doing exactly, but they're probably um, just some smoothing capacitors. They look like a no-name brand, Cam, Cam Cap. We've got some board-to-board -board interconnects, and in here, I can see a power supply filtering or something. So let's uh, let's have a look. It's just little notches in the PCB. Okay, here we go. what we have here. It looks like a DC to DC converter. This is most likely for the uh, voltage input. Input 18 to 28 volt, output 24 volt to 2 amp, and 5 volt 1 to 3 amp. Not sure what 1 to 3 amp means, but it looks like this is a bi-directional DC to DC converter. So, or two DC to DC converters. I guess we have main is that a transformer or just an inductor? It looks like a transformer over here and then we got an inductor over here and we got our two diodes and the capacitor this one is a JH brand so in a high reliability application like a PLC you'd want to see interconnections like this be gold plated and in this case they are, they're very nicely gold plated and presumably the opposite contacts are gold plated here as well. But that's good to see because if it's not gold plated you can get reliability issues later when with, with corrosion and so forth. So that would be a weak spot. So now let's look at the back of this board. see again clean no flux residue really uh, we've got some good formal coating that's nice to see it looks like on the inputs we have 4.7k resistors isolators and we see the isolation gap all the way through. Yeah, it's probably wave soldered. You can see the glue spots here. There's some glue spots where they didn't populate these resistors. Not sure what those will be for. But yeah that's basically all you need. Now let's look at the top board. This just sort of snaps in there. And on here we've got also a STM32 F103, which makes sense because these things are so cheap. They're like a dollar, these chips. They're really not expensive, but they are very nice, as I said. This one has some flux residue, but it's, you know, it's not that bad. This one's not conformal coded as far as I can see. But give you a good view. 
This board, I think, was like $50. And here we go. Real-time clock battery. Wow, look at that. It's actually glued in. That's nice to see. It's going to give you some good reliability. You don't want that popping out when it shakes because then you lose your time. But you can still scratch that off to replace the battery if you need to. It's a nice big one, CR2032. Yeah, CR2032. Is that a 2032? Yeah, I guess so. I've got the LEDs here. And they're the Wecon brand. Well, they'll be using the internal real-time clock, so I probably reset my real-time clock right now by doing this, so I'll have to set it again. Shouldn't be a big deal. Because the real-time clock, they're probably using, if you look on the board here, you can see yeah, I think that's probably the real-time clock crystal there. That's the main HSE, high-speed external, and this is the LSE, the, the real-time clock, 32 kilohertz crystal, so. Well, I have to reset that. Just for fun, let's put it together unassembled. And again, we got the gold contact here, so that's nice, good to see, and these are gold as well. Looking at these terminal blocks, um, they seem quite good actually, they're sturdy, they've got nice thick, nice thick connections, good soldering on the bottom, I like it. Okay, let's put it back together. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you need more, if you want to see more detail on this, uh, just leave a comment. And if I still have it, I'll post something in more detail.